wrapping up our Talk of the Town show in the Tool School Workshop. I'm loving seeing all of this stuff. Tell me what that is. Isn't it cool? It's orange, first of all. This is called the Robo Reel. And honestly, when I first heard about this, I thought, really, a machine to roll up your extension cords? Yeah. I can do it faster. Right. Now, this thing, once you have it out, you push the button in the, in the center, and this will start rolling itself back up. Let's see if I can. Oh, man. And it's fast. They also make one for a uh, garden hose, and they're about to come up with one, I believe, for the uh, an air hose. So wow. you got all your hoses wrapped up in one little orange. That's pretty cool. You got a lot of cool there. tools over here too that you want to show us before we I go. I always find the cool stuff. I just love gadgets. Flashlights, yeah. you can never over, uh, basically you have to have a, a bazillion flashlights, especially the ones that go on your head. Hands Headlamps. Like, this is the greatest thing. I helped a neighbor of mine, uh, her daughter had a flat tire on I-40 and it was a flashlight like this nice. that allowed me to have two hands free. The nice thing about this is that you can get uh, two different brightnesses, a dim and a bright. It is, you can pivot it up and down. And the thing I like about this is that the headband is actually designed to go on a hard hat. Mm -hmm. So it's, if you feel that it's non-skid. Non yeah. So it, it can pull your hair a little bit, but I just don't wear a hard hat. But these are great for about 20 bucks. Cool. All right, what does that do? This is really neat. Uses a laser to tell distance. We talked about tape measures earlier. You want to go a little more uh, high tech, you just basically push a button. I can aim this at uh, a wall, and I can, there's a little, I'll point it at my hand there, a little bit. Ow! It doesn't really burn. It doesn't hurt. Uh, no, it doesn't. Uh, but if I point it at my hand, let's see here. That is uh, one foot, three inches from the back of this to my hand. Wow. So I can basically figure out how many square feet I have in a room. This will even do cubic feet. It'll do some of the triangle too. No kidding. I don't know what to do with triangles. Yeah. They're, they're a weird shape. Boy, so much easier than tape oh, measure. So much easier. Lasers. Okay. All right. Now this is uh, this is the uh, Job Max line from Rigid. These are really cool. They're multi tools, and I'm going to turn this on. It's a jigsaw. Okay. But wait. <laughs> Take the head off. Put the other head on, and there are several heads that will go on this. Now it's an oscillating tool. And the really cool thing about these, if you've never used one before, you can, and this is three quarter inch ply, but, but, here we go. This will cut right, yeah, it's, it's pretty That's amazing. Yeah, yeah, it really is. If you have to uh, maybe change out some baseboard, mm -hmm. you can make a plunge cut right into it if you have to put in a new outlet. You go right through the drywall, make a nice square, and you there's go. There's a tile attachment? There's a tile attachment, there's sander attachments. You can get whole kits like this that have every sort of attachment imaginable. Cool. And these are, you know, about 100 bucks, and then you have to buy the different heads. That's awesome. So they're pretty cool. I want to be sure we talk about your book because there's so many good ideas in there. It's called Spend a Little, Save a Lot Home Improvements. Mm -hmm. And I love the way it's laid out because the pictures show you exactly what you need to do. Oh, I really appreciate you saying that because that's one of the goals we have with the book was making sure that we showed you exactly what you had to do. So many books out there, they give you kind of vague instructions. We really strove to provide close-ups. If we're going to see it, if we're going to say it, see it. Like Basically, how to, that's how to caulk your tub. And it's a very simple way to do it, to get nice straight caulk lines. Just use a little painter's tape, put it on there straight, and then when you use your finger to smooth it out, pull off the painter's tape, and you have nice straight caulk lines. Nice. Simple stuff. That's great. I'm what simple. You, yeah, that makes it nice. Most people, I think, are afraid of doing their own home improvement stuff. You call a handyman, yes. you spend a lot of money. What do you need to do to have that confidence? See, that's the thing. You have to start small. You have to start with little things. You have to start with things that are at your skill level, things that you're not afraid to do, things that you can't mess up. Don't start with electricity. Okay. I wouldn't even start with plumbing. And I've always said, if you mess up plumbing, you get wet. Right. You mess up electricity, you can get dead. Sure. So seriously, don't start with electricity. But you know, wall repairs, something that you really can't mess up. Take, and there are a ton of little things, little projects in this book that you can do and really kind of get your confidence level up. Mm -hmm. that's, that's really what people need to do. And again, it's about, again, using our hands. Yeah. We, and these are things we need to send it down the line to our kids. I've got an 11 year old, I still have to get that into his head. Yeah, it, it's hard. It's, yeah. Because <laughs> they know everything at that age. Yeah, because so. I'm now, I'm the dumbest human on planet Earth right well, now. Well, that's so. okay. You'll get smarter in a few years when he gets a little bit older. <laughs> it's a funny thing. My dad is brilliant now. Yeah, yeah. I've noticed that. As I've, uh, as I've gotten older, my dad has gotten <laughs> brilliant. But yeah, that's the thing. Let's get back to work. Let's get to using our hands. Let's become a nation of doers. All right. 
great ideas in the book, and we can Thank find you. out more information on your website, which mm -hmm. is toolschool.com. Toolschool with a K. We do tool reviews. Basically, if you're looking for a tool, you want to find out what other people think about it, what we think about it. We test them. Uh, we put them through the ringer. Uh, we'll tell you if we like it, what we don't like about it, that sort of thing. We even have some home improvement projects on there. We're building the library. Mm -hmm. This is a, it's a, it's a labor of love right now, uh, but we have a, a group of very talented uh, people who've been around tools for many years. And, uh, you know, we encourage everybody, please, go to the website, take a look. I think you'll like it. If folks have home improvement questions, can they email you? Absolutely, yeah. You can get uh, hold of me right through the website. All right. Brad Stagg, some great information. Thanks so much. Thank you for coming to the Tool School Shop. Yeah, we enjoyed it. We learned a lot, too. Thanks so much for being with us today. We'll see you on the next edition of Talk of the Town.